What's up guys, it's just another day. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to learn more about mobile photography. Now I know some people are trying to learn photography, but all they have is their phone. But it's all we really need. So right now we're going to go out and take some photos. And we're going to learn how to get better with our phones. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to your settings. Go to camera and turn on grid and what essentially that is is this little three by three line it'll help you guide your photos to put where your subject is help you guide it All right, let's just open up our camera here. This is where I take my Elsa of Windows series on Instagram. You can check that out and link it in the description. And all right, so first thing here, we see this person. So let's just zoom in. Now, the bad thing about mobile is that when you zoom in a lot, it's really, really blurry. So, and my hand is pretty shaky half the time. So. You got a nice shadow there. You can use the gray, you can try to frame the person right in the middle. You can see how shaky my hand is. Um, that's why it's good sometimes to use burst mode if you want to take pictures of moving subject like this car. Just hold it. And you find a framing. Oh look, a blue car now. It's coming to a stop. We can just slowly tap the button. And this car, this car seems quite interesting. Now we can sometimes, if you want to use this little thingy, you tap on your subject and then you can drag it to bring the exposure up and down. Now I'm not using any fancy app here, but if you would like to, I will make a video on Lightroom. Because on Lightroom there is a there is a feature where you can frame the person right at the lines. And you frame it however you would like. It's just more of what you feel like would be good for the photo. Would you want the main subject to be in the middle of it, or would you want the subject to have kind of a diverse focus? See this one blue car, and there's like a ton of white cars. You can frame it right in between the cars because it's right there. Try not to zoom in too much because if you do, then the picture will get really blurry. And then now we can just take a few shots of it moving, and it's pretty much like that. That's pretty much how I did my also window series. There's different times of the day you can take the photo. Most of the time, I just frame my subject in the middle. Um, okay, so there's multiple times of the day you could take your photos. There's golden hour, which I love to shoot because it is literally, literally the easiest thing to do to make your photography look amazing because the sky is already doing half the work for you. You just need to take a quick snap and you got it. Sometimes, you look outside your window, you feel like you missed an opportunity, but always remember it's okay, more opportunities will come. If you can capture that, great. If you can't, that's alright. So, now let's just head outside and do some photography outside. Subject will be the most, the biggest thing in the 
picture. And today is also a pretty cloudy day, so it's pretty good for taking pictures. All right, okay. Now let's take pictures of cars. You have a perfect subject right here. You can frame it right in the middle. Or you could, right now I've been doing portrait mode, like vertically, but you could do it um, horizontally. That was the truck. Honestly, there isn't much to photography. Um, you just kind of look at stuff and then you just kind of take a picture of it. And if anything, you can just edit it in post. Um, that's why I'm gonna make my next video on my channel that's gonna be coming really soon on how to edit on your mobile Lightroom. Now, I did get the subscription, but you don't have to because Lightroom is free on your phone. And there's still so many features on there if you don't pay for it. With that being said and done, I hope you enjoyed this video. Always remember, follow your dreams and let go. Oh yeah, um, a little street photography tip since that's what we're doing. I could do another feature video on mobile photography for portraits um, and landscape if you guys really want to because I find that if you go on like tourist spots, I'm sorry if this is really shaky, but if you go on tourist places and a lot of people have the camera and some people don't have the camera and you just want to take like a simple photo, I could tell you how to frame it as best as I could because I'm still learning, I'm learning every day. But the street photography hack is don't get caught by people if you're taking pictures of them. Yeah. Like they probably notice, but just keep going just pretend you're taking pictures of something else behind them that's a tip I got from seventh era but yeah 